The year is 2022. Lithium prices have just skyrocketed by a factor of roughly 10 times, with no end in sight as the demand for electric vehicles is outpacing the supply of new battery-grade raw materials, specifically lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide. Tesla is planning to produce roughly 2 million cars in a year's time. However, costs have unexpectedly spiked. Instead of spending $80 million on lithium resources, the company is now forced to spend $800 million, directly eating into Tesla's profitability and contributing to large increases in Model 3 and Model Y pricing. Elon Musk gets on the conference call in the second quarter of 2022 and announces that we need more people in the lithium industry. He says, you can't lose, it's a license to print money. And he's not entirely wrong. The actual cost of extracting lithium from the ground had remained relatively flat, but there are so few refineries that they can charge whatever they want as demand skyrockets, and most of the world's refineries reside in China, which controls roughly 72% of global lithium refinement. Elon Musk says, if you want software-like margins, go into lithium, as he encourages entrepreneurs to enter the lithium mining business. A few months later, in September 2022, Tesla announces that it will be getting into the lithium industry with a new facility near Corpus Christi, Texas. And then shortly after, they break ground in May 2023 on the factory which is expected to take two years to bring to production. Fast forward two years, and Tesla's refinery is now tracking on schedule to begin operation by the end of this year, as predicted, and it's expected to reach high volume in 2025. It represents a $1 billion investment that should be enough to help power 1 million electric cars. And just days ago, Tesla announced that they fed raw material into the facility's kiln for the first time as the company begins to test and to scale production. Now, lithium prices actually peaked at the end of 2022. While Elon Musk set out to destroy the price of lithium at that time, Tesla's lithium refinery is just coming online now. Meanwhile, lithium prices have already crashed back down to 2021 levels, mission accomplished. But actually, commodities are very sensitive to supply and demand fluctuations, particularly countries such as Chile, Argentina, and Australia, essentially heeded Elon Musk's calls and brought on more supply and more refining capacity for lithium. China's dominance in lithium refining appears to have contracted to 58% share. Still massive though. Additionally, electric vehicle projections may have gotten too overheated in 2022. Even Tesla has slowed down EV production with virtually no volume growth this year in 2024. And there are always speculators in the commodities markets that drive up prices, but then abandon ship as it became clear that demand would not be able to sustain such high prices. Not to mention that even Elon Musk revealing that Tesla would enter the lithium industry does have a meaningful impact on prices, as it signals to the industry that prices are going to be coming down in the future, and Tesla is the largest consumer of lithium in the United States. Now, they're also not the only lithium refinery in the U.S. A company called Arcadium Lithium owns a lithium hydroxide processing plant that delivers 15,000 tons of production per year and is the largest in the United States. Moreover, the company Albemarle has two lithium-based U.S. operations, a processing plant and conversion facility in North Carolina that makes battery-grade lithium hydroxide, lithium carbonate, and other lithium compounds. Albemarle's Silver Peak location in Nevada is said to be the only active lithium resource in the United States, essentially the only mine. Their other sites can do processing, but the lithium can be imported from other countries. And Silver Peak produces lithium carbonate and special grades of lithium hydroxide. Besides Tesla, there are also multiple other projects coming online in 2025 and 2026, including new processing facilities from Livent, which is now part of the aforementioned company Arcadian Lithium, new projects from Piedmont Lithium, Albemarle is bringing up more capacity, and Lithium Americas has a large project called Thacker Pass, 
which will be bringing up 40,000 tons of lithium in just its first phase. But with General Motors securing access to this, and I have no idea what for. But in Tesla's case, they actually make hundreds of thousands of EVs in the United States, and their chemical compound of choice appears to be lithium hydroxide. That's the one that's the key ingredient inside the types of battery chemistries that Tesla uses, particularly in the 4680 cell. And lithium hydroxide is indeed the main product that their refinery will be producing. And so while Tesla's facility isn't the first refinery in the US, it's certainly the first of its kind. Almost 100% of lithium extracted in the world today comes from mineral rock called spodumene, or liquid brines which are formed in seasonally flooded dry lakes called salars. Lithium clays is also a source of lithium extracted using sulfuric acid, but so far there have been no commercial projects using this route. However, Tesla is the first to attempt it, but they have a novel acid-free refining process that uses a high-energy mill followed by leaching out the lithium. This has been untested at scale, but Tesla believes it will produce higher yields and cut costs down by 33%. The facility will be powered by electricity and they're located in Texas, so they can supplement it with solar to reduce operating costs. Tesla has also secured land with an abundance of lithium-rich clay, enough for terawatt-scale production. But why does Tesla really need a lithium refinery now that lithium prices have already crashed? Well, it's unlikely that Elon Musk would have gotten into the lithium business in the first place if it weren't for skyrocketing prices in 2022. Tesla has a finite number of resources and doesn't want to be in the business that it doesn't absolutely have to be in. Right now, lithium prices are down, but they could go back up. Tesla owning the upstream process and becoming fully vertically integrated essentially disconnects the global price of lithium from Tesla's own use of it, which will still lower costs by 33% and will help them better forecast, leading to more stable vehicle pricing. More importantly, from Tesla's perspective, the EV revolution is far from over and it comes in waves. The last major wave was the Tesla Model Y, which became the best-selling car in the world. Right now, Tesla has many irons in the fire through construction projects in the United States. They're supposed to be coming out with cheaper models in 2025. They're ramping up Cybertruck in Texas, building 4680 cells at Giga Texas as well, and in Nevada with the new Tesla Semi factory. And in 2026, the company expects to mass-produce robo-taxis with the Cybercab. And so these step changes in Tesla's product roadmap can literally shock the supply chain in the United States. But Tesla can now better anticipate and respond to fluctuations and acquire the batteries required for its own roadmap now that it has the Texas refinery. Geopolitical tensions with China are also on the rise, with China recently banning various elements from export to the United States. Tesla could easily be caught in the crossfire at some point, especially since China controls the bulk of the world's lithium refining facilities. It's almost by fluke that Tesla got into the lithium business due to the crazy prices, but now the Tesla refinery reduces the US's reliance on China. And so while lithium refining is not exactly as glamorous as running a tech company and is no longer producing software-like margins, Tesla's foray into the mining business will operate almost unnoticed in the background. But this move will quietly reduce Tesla's battery costs, leading to lower and more stable consumer pricing, unlike the volatility seen in 2022 and 2023, with Model 3 and Model Y prices shooting up and coming back down. It also helps to shield Tesla from geopolitical tensions with China, adding production stability, avoiding potential disruptions, and giving investors peace of mind. So do you think Tesla's investment in lithium refining is a smart long-term move, even with prices currently at 2021 levels? And how do you see Tesla's lithium refinery contributing to its competitive edge, given the potential for higher stability and lower consumer prices? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's PowerShare solar upgrade for Cybertruck. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.